And I'm back again after two and a half months. I'm back vlogging, and uh, I wanted to use my microphone for this vlog, but apparently it doesn't work with my camera. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I plug it in to the camera, but uh, the, I don't get any audio recorded. So, I don't know. I ordered the, the plug-in for it, ordered it offline, and it, it fits. It, yeah. But, doesn't record audio with my camera. I don't know if it's because they're different brands or what. I have to ask someone or find out online or something. That's a bummer that they don't work. Yeah, so for the past two months, I've been in Colorado um, working there as a production assistant on a uh, reality TV show. I'll, I'll start at the beginning. So end of April, I'm going down to Denver, Colorado, and uh, my dad got in contact with an old high school friend uh, that that he he hadn't seen in like I don't know 20 30 years probably, and he he just recently got uh, in contact with her uh, through Facebook, and she lives down in the Denver area. So uh, me and my dad drove down to her house uh, to, and, and we were going to stay there for a little while. And, and for a while up, up until we went to Denver, my parents just kept asking uh, if I had asked for the address of where they're shooting their reality TV show, and um, I was like, they'll send me if they, they have to. I need to know where I'm going to work, so they'll, they're going to send it to me, but but uh, it was like, you know, less than a week, a couple days before I'm due to start working and didn't have the address, so Finally, I text the guy that hired me if I could have the address, and, and it, he sent it to me. And then when me and my dad were uh, in in uh, Colorado, we were out driving uh, uh, with my dad's high school friend. I'll just call her, and then he, he just says, "Hey, why why don't we just go to the?" to the address to, you know, make sure you know how to get there and easier, easiest way. Yeah, and it turns out the address was actually really close to uh, the, the high school friend's house. So yeah, we, we came to the address and, and when we got there, we, we weren't sure if it was the right place so we park the car and get out, and, and then we find the address written on the building. So, so yeah, right place. Then at that point I was feeling like, maybe we should go. You know, we, we found a place, let's get out of here. But I, I didn't say anything and then, and then, you know, we walk around the building a little bit and then we come to uh, big bay doors that are open. This is like a warehouse. I look inside and it wasn't, doesn't look how I was expecting it. Not really sure how I was expecting it to look, but it didn't look right. So then I'm like more confused 
like, is this the right place? But, but it said that the, the right address, so, so it, yeah, I'm thinking it has to be in, we go, we, we should go, that's what I'm feeling, but, you know, then my dad and his friend could go in and I follow them, but. It's a very bad feeling about yeah. this. We meet someone there at the place and it's like, okay, good to meet you. And it, it is the right place, yeah. That is confirmed. And the person that we met wasn't the person that hired me that, uh, like, that I was in communication with. The, that person wasn't there. But later on, the, that person does text me and says, hey, were you at the building earlier today? And I text back saying, yeah, I was. I, I was there with my dad making sure we had the right place. And then the guy texts back, like in all caps, that is not okay. It was all right to make, to swing by to make sure you knew where the location was, but you should not have come inside and you should definitely not have brought anyone else with you. So, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, now I'm freaking out and I text back saying I'm so sorry, I, uh, it was a mistake, it won't happen again and please don't fire me, I actually said that, please don't fire me. And like, th this is all happening the day before I'm supposed to start. So I, I'm freaking out that they're just going to say, don't come in, you're not working anymore. That's what I'm afraid of, especially since I just left a full-time job less than a week ago and I just moved out to a new city. I'm freaking out. And then, you, and then I get a text saying, I'm not going to fire you, but this is your first and last warning. And uh, I, I was with my dad when I was getting the text and I was talking to him and like, oh, and yeah, and my dad was like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, so that was a big mistake on my part. I mean, especially since I, I, I should have known better. I mean, I mean, in my last vlog that I did, I, I said in this day and age, people are really concerned uh, with social media and people leaking stuff out. So yeah, I don't, I don't want to get into trouble before I start the job. And then, I, you know, I, I made a another vlog about whether or not I have ever had an anxiety attack or a panic attack. And I'm pretty sure I might have had a mild one at that time or, or, or on that day. Yeah, it, it just felt like, like my nerves were on edge and it was all, all throughout my body. And then, uh, Actually, at that night, I got an email uh, from the production company, like, and it, it was like to all the new people, welcoming us there and giving us information, including the address and a map. So it was definitely in the right place. Yeah, weirdly. After I got that email, it felt like my anxiety went through the roof, and I, I, and I, at dinner I just couldn't eat very much, and yeah, I, I just couldn't sit still, and felt like my whole body was on pins and needles. Yeah, I didn't feel really good 
at all that night. And then the next day is my first day working. And yeah, yeah, so like first day, there's a whole bunch of paperwork to sign. And, and one of them is a non-disclosure agreement saying you, you can't reveal information about the show. I think I can probably tell you the name of the show, but you know, just after what happened, I'm still, still uh, freaked out over it that I, I don't feel like saying the name. <laughs> Maybe when the show starts airing, then I'll, I'll talk about it more and tell you the name. Uh, it uh, pr premieres in the fall. So first day goes pretty smoothly. Although I forgot that working uh, on set is long hours. Like, like for this, this job, it was 12 hour days and the, the other, uh, PA jobs that I've worked, uh, were also long hours. I'm not sure if they were 12 hours, but they were like un unpaid, uh, work. So they didn't really keep track of the hours and I didn't either. But for this job, I was getting paid by the hour, and and it was really important that you kept track of your hours uh, every day you worked. So yeah, yeah, twelve-hour days. Some of them were longer. A few were shorter, but uh, not too many of those short days. <laughs> Almost all the days were 12 hours and you got a half hour lunch. So I was like on set uh, 12 and a half hours. But I mean, it, it got easier as time went on. I think I might cut this vlog into two parts because I've already been talking for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably gonna be two parts. So yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe just end part one here and then start part two. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about my experiences without giving away too much info on the show. But yeah. So yeah, I'll see you in part two. I guess. Bye.